Hi everybody. Today's video we're doing two things. These are the little vent lines that I'm bending. They're very simple little the lines for uh, venting the fuel tanks in case you have an overflow. They're made out of 3003 aluminum, the little VersaTube. They're very simple. They're hard to mess up and it's a nice easy layup for when you're having a rough day. If you've been trying to make those damn fuel lines for eight hours, you're like, I just need to make something in a bender that works. As this is a good one. All right, so now that we're done with that, for the rest of the video, we are going to be working on wing lights and making the wing light brackets. Previously, in another lifetime, like three years ago, we'd made some uh, brackets for the lights. Van sells a kit for the brackets because the brackets don't come with the wing kit. And it, I think it auto had an, uh, I forget the vendor, but it had an uh, LED light, a really nice one. Problem is the kit was like 240, and I'm like, I don't, but I don't want to spend that much money on those LED lights. They're ridiculous. Even when you do, they but they break just as easily as ones you buy from Home Depot. It's ridiculous. So we're making our own brackets and we're using our own lights. You'd seen me make these before, so I, I unfortunately when I had made them the first time, I'd sort of screwed up the size. So we're having to remake them today, which is good. So this will be a revisit. So all it is is a aluminum bracket, which you can see here, we're going to be doing a lot of drilling, uh, with a big hole in it, which the LED light rests into. There's a secondary bracket that's much smaller that will sit on top of the LED light, and then they will be held in place together by spacers, screws, and lock washers, and nuts. Now the bracket inside the wing itself has a big hole, which makes it, you know, glaringly obvious this is where the light goes. Uh, that bracket itself has flanges on the side, which have nut plates. So on the side of the bracket you see me making here, there's going to be a slot cut. Uh, it needs to be at least uh, 3 16 inch wide. I usually did 1 uh, 32nd over that, or 1 16th. And that's where the AN bolt and lock washers go. Which is nice, that way it lets you tilt it out and tilt it up and down and sort of move it out. It's, and you have a little bit of freedom left and right. So that's the, that's the trick with making these brackets is I think the bracket on the inside of the wing is like 5 and 5 eighths or 5 and 3 eighths. You need to make these about a total of 1 eighth inch wider. Because think about it, if they, if they snugged the bracket perfectly... While that would be a really great fit, it wouldn't allow you to move it left and right. And when I say left and right, like, because you got channels on each side, if you wanted the, say, taxi light to more focus into the front of the plane, you've got to sort of tilt that light in. If it's a perfectly fit bracket, that's going to be really difficult. If you leave a little bit of space, then it makes moving it left and right much easier. And that's why you have, like, a big A and 3 bolt holding this thing on with a lock washer. It, so that it stays. <clears throat> of course, I don't have a hole saw that's like 4.85 inches. It's ridiculous. I wanted to say, oh, here's the uh, here's the fun part. So after you've got them all cut, take it to the vise and do some sanding. So that is the secondary piece, which is the bracket that uh, that sits on top of the light, holds it in place. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not really too difficult. I cut some spacers out of some stock and everything. Uh, and I also put some RTV, some high temp RTV on both sides of the bracket where the light's going to rest just so it's not clanging against metal the whole time because that'll eventually wear something out. All right. <clears throat> so while you watch me do that, I think that explains pretty much most of the stuff. Um, so there is an update. Uh, if you're seeing this, happy Wednesday, by the way. Uh, I am in Oregon doing transition training with uh, Mr. Seeger, actually. Uh, this releases at 7.30 a.m. I'm meeting him. I'll, I'll be there before then. Unfortunately, of course, the weather in Portland this week is going to be sh Hopefully, I'll get at least a couple hours in on Wednesday. That's, that's the best day. Thursday's like 70% chance of rain, and Friday's 100% chance of heavy rain. So that's, that's just great. And the week after I'm gone, all partly cloudy. So thanks, Mother Nature. Appreciate you. All we need, all we need is 
1,500 feet, we can just do landing practice for two hours. Anyway. All right, so that is the wing stuff. Uh, in the next video, I think we're going to go ahead and finish mounting up those lights. I think we also spray paint the inside. So we'll talk about that later. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.